All right, guys, let's take a look at the wiring down of this oil pressure switch. I disconnected it and brought it up here where we can look at it. And that's the connector over there. See, I just laid that down. It's a three-pole switch. It's got three little receptacles in it. The switch down there on the uh, thing has three prongs. Now, this is your oil pressure light sending wire, and it was connected to this plug right there. I just unplugged it. And so what you want to do is you want to unplug this and get this kind of out of the way. You're going to reuse this. Uh, this part here, this has got two other wires going to it. And I told you last night, one of them, or in the last video, one of them was burned up. And I didn't know what it went to. Well, I realized that it's to the electric choke. So um, I'm probably going to end up keeping this. So I'll just put this all back together. Um, because what is that thing that that switch functions uh, is of course it's closed so uh, what is I use oil pressure it's like a GM I use an oil pressure switch to tell the choke to not run so the choke doesn't run and warm up while the key's just on but the engine ain't running that's why it's like that so uh, we'll keep that that's a good idea so we'll be using that so that's what that's for we don't have to do anything with that unless you just want to remove the choke wiring uh, well, that's up to you, but I'm not because I'll use the electric choke uh, at some point. So anyway, just wanted to detail that to you and let you know what that was. See ya.